Hi, welcome back. I'm Stephanie and welcome to Building Your Path to Success. On this channel, I focus on giving out a lot of information in short periods of time for high school and college students so that they can get the information needed so that they can apply for opportunities to build a meaningful resume. I share information on REUs, SERPs, conferences, internships, and other opportunities. The goal is for each student to become more competitive as they work towards their career goal. If you like this type of information, please support me with that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, please share it so that students, the word can get out there to many students. Fall of 2021 has been an exciting time. Lots of applications are opening up that were not necessarily opened up um, over the last two years because of the pandemic. Students have gone without the opportunity of having these hands-on They just did not have these opportunities to accompany their undergraduate formal education. And it's with these type of programs that make those um, formal education more meaningful. Today, I'm going to talk to you about another, yet, yet another pro, uh, program, a wonderful program at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. This is a SERP. A SERP, again, is a summer undergraduate research program, and it is 10 weeks. It offers hands-on experience and research, and you will be connected with a faculty member as you do this uh, research. You will present your um, research on the last day. You will have all sorts of lectures and workshops to accompany everything else that you do uh, in this program. This program for summer of 2022 <clears throat> will take place from June 6th until August 12th. And you will be working a 40 hour work week, Monday through Fridays, eight to five. Um, it may be altered a little bit depending on who you're doing your research with and what you're doing. Eligibility requirements. You must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. You must have one of the following designations for the spring semester of the program year, undergraduate freshman, sophomore, or junior. And what that means is that <clears throat> once the summer has ended, you must be returning back to your university so you cannot be a senior um, in this program. You have to be willing to commit all 10 weeks to the program. You can't say I have eight or the 10, I have a vacation plan. You have to be there for the entire time. You will be doing, um, <clears throat> getting a stipend if accepted to this program. This stipend is gonna be $7,000 and there is no housing. You are expected to pay for your housing from these funds. You will get the stipend is really consistent of $6,000 for the 10 weeks um, and a $1,000 housing allowance. That's how they get to the $7,000. And <clears throat> so you will be in Houston. There is, um, there's a couple of Hotels that have extended stays, some short-term rentals, but if you get accepted, you have time to do the research early on, and maybe they could connect students who are coming together so that they can try to get maybe an apartment. Your application. There is the actual application. You will need your transcripts. And if I find it interesting, they want your transcripts from high school and from your undergraduate university a personal statement, two letters of recommendations. The application opens up November 1st and it closes on January 20th, 2022. <clears throat> so it is gonna be ex exciting. They have videos on past interns. You will be doing research around cancer. You will not get academic credit for this. Um, that's pretty much everything. You will have a mentor based on what you're interested in. And of course, the balcony members and staff 
have certain things that they're researching. So again, this is another great opportunity. The information will be in the, in the description below. Again, if you like this kind of information, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, do all those things. Um, and I want to thank you for being a part of the village and sharing the information with others. I do want to say, again, if anyone gets accepted to any of these programs, let me know. I am also a cheerleader, cheerleading, and um, excited for everyone who's applying and those who are accepted. So good luck, and until next time, take care.